This is our time to reflect on what we actually learned from 2020. And I think there was a lot. I know for myself, there was, uh, I think in the beginning, and I've been hearing this over and over again from so many people, that we felt we just want to get back to normal, whatever we defined normal to be. And during this time that we haven't had a choice to go back to normal, I think we have been tested and have learned some things about ourselves that can help us as we move into this future and know that things are going to change and whatever normal was, we're starting to create a new normal. And I know sometimes that term gets overused, but we actually have had time to reflect on our lives and understand what are some strengths that we didn't even realize we had. One of them has been learning that we are more adaptable than we ever thought we were. So sometimes when we are forced into change, like technology and changing how we work, that we just go after it versus when we have time and we're tasked to do these things, many times we may find excuses of why we can't do it or why it won't work. And what we found during this time is we just did it. And we were very adaptable to the change. And we can be proud of the accomplishments that we've had in that area. Sometimes what it takes is looking back at a time period and appreciating those small wins. The other thing that we've learned, and I've been hearing this over and over again, is that we've learned to take time for what matters, and now we're actually afraid to go back to the way that it was before. A lot of times what happens when things change is that the Band-Aid gets ripped off and we don't have a choice, and that allows for change to happen. But when that change actually happens, we start adapting and then start realizing the positives of the things that have changed. So rather than looking back at all of the way things used to be, instead taking stock in the things that have been great about the change. And part of it's been our time. Our time has been level set into being more with our families, more with our friends, having more control over our schedule, maybe not wasting time with commutes that we had before. And so as we move into this next time period, it's going to be important to look at the things that were great that we learned from this time period that we want to keep and not let go of. We will have the option now as we move forward to look at both ways and say what works, what didn't work, and what we would like to do different And how can we keep the good things that matter? And lastly, it's important to remember that you'll have always seen worse than where you're going to be going and that you can make it through. So showing that you have had that stability during this time and have figured things out is a really important thing to know that you do have the flexibility and the mindset to change when you need to, but also give yourself peace of mind that as you go through more times of change that are definitely going to come, what can you draw upon from these times that will give you strength as you move forward so that you can create a more positive outcome for yourself and those around you? 